Hi, um, it's been a while since I've really done much on YouTube, especially in the technology department. Most of my stuff have been music, has been music oriented lately, but I got something new in the mail today that I'd like to show off. So, um, as some of you may know, there's an app for the iPhone that helps you identify currency. Well, that thing can be a roll of pain. I'm, I'm serious, it's aggravating as crap. Especially for people who don't have good skills with a camera. Is there a solution, you ask? Yes. And the solution is this. This little gadget here is a money identifier, it's a currency reader. Now this one I got from free of charge because I'm, I'm signed up with the National Library Service and someone that has something to do with the government came up with an awesome idea to give these out to NLS users free of charge. Um, a few weeks ago my um, vision teacher at my school told me about it, and I got the paperwork, I got it filled out, and I got this today. So, what does it do, you ask? Well, that's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here to show you. I'm going to demo several different things today. Obviously, I'm going to be covering, uh, well, what this thing does, obviously, which is how to identify your money. But there are three different identification modes that this thing has built into it. So I will be showing you each one of those. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is give you a description of the unit. See, there really isn't much to it. Here on the front, you see what looks like a panel that's kind of sticking out from the machine. That, in between this panel and the main unit, is where you insert your bill for identification. On each side, and I don't know if you can see these because, well, one, my camera skills are terrible, and two, my hand is in the way. Um, on each side, you have a button. We'll get to those in a minute. Back here you have a key ring, or if you're like me and you want to repurpose it, a holder for you for a random neck strap that you have lying around the house so you don't lose this in your purse. On the back you really don't have much, just your battery compartment. And what you want to and what you want to remember is this the battery compartment is toward the edge of the unit. Not this big thing in the middle here. If I'm not terribly mistaken, I think that's the speaker. And over here, where is it? Oh, here it is. You may not be able to see it. It's a 2.5 millimeter jack for an earphone. Now, I don't have one of those with me to show you. So we're going to take each one of these. And the way you the way you identify a bill is you slide it into into the slot on on the front of this on the front and make sure that you can't slide it in any further and make sure you put the short side in first and don't try to put it in sideways because it will not fit. Then you press the button. You heard it announce the denomination. Now there are several different ways that you can have it do this. You can have speech mode, as I just showed you. You can have tone mode. Or you can have vibration mode, and I don't know if you could hear that very well. Now let me put it back to speech mode. As you can hear, there are three different volume levels for your speech mode. One. 
I have another one here with me just to show you that again and I'll show I'll go in into how to change the mode here in just a second same process make sure you insert the short the shorter edge into the slot and not try to put it in sideways now press the button oops I did something wrong so and you heard it say error we will do that again intentionally later in in this video okay go in the slot you moron thank you let's try that again okay you heard that now let me show you the other Oh, we got another error. And another error. Stay in the slot, you moron. That was vibration mode announcing the same bill. That was tone mode. Now let's rotate back to speech mode. Now. Let's put this away. And here's what happens. If you are like me and you're playing with this thing because you just got it. And you try to turn it on without a bill inserted. It would help if I turned it right side up. Error. That's speech mode. Error. That's vibration mode. You hear it vibrate for a long time. And that's tone mode. That's really all there is to this unit. It's very, very, very simple. It's also very, very awesome if you ask me. And if you don't already have one and you're signed up for the, with the NLS, and you go on, you know, a, a lot of trips and things and you carry around money, I would highly, highly recommend getting one of these. Because this thing, I'm sure will prove to be indispensable because before now I was relying on the look tell money reader app from the app store and that thing works just fine if you're good at using a camera this thing eliminates the need for a camera and see I can just put it around my neck and it's just right there and it's handy whenever I just need to reach down and grab it <laughs> 